hello everyone in this tutorial today we are going to be learning three different methods of adding header and footer in microsoft excel in the first method we go to view tab click on it go to page layout and click on it this will automatically add header and footer in your excel worksheet as you might have noticed it said header here we have the header at the top as i scroll down we will see the footer as well both the header and footer are divided into three sections you can add the company name in the middle if you so desire Then you add the pages on the left if you so desire to add page click in the box go to header and footer tab click on page number once you click off it will give you page one when people look at it like this they may not understand what the one signifies so if you want them to really know that this is page one click at the beginning you can see the cursor blinking the type page you give space then when you click off it says page one and if you have more than one page it says page two depending on the number of pages you have so this is one of the quickest and easiest method of adding header and footer in microsoft excel you can as well add anything you want on the footer click on the header and footer tab you can as well add page and wait in the middle if you desire once you click off to tell you that we are on page one and the next footer page two and so on so this brings us to the second method of inserting header and footer into the microsoft excel worksheet when you look at the bottom of the worksheet you will notice these three view options the first one is normal view the second one is page layout and the third one is page break once you click on page layout it will automatically give you the header and the footer as it was when you use the view tab to come to header and footer from here you can add anything you wish Maybe here you may decide to go to header and footer, add page, and this one you go to header and footer and add the current date, which is 3rd February 2022, and then you can add the current time, which is 1957. Once you click on any of the sections within the header you do not see what is written on it like one for page one and once you click off the page number will appear and as you click off you notice that we don't have footer and header tab anymore at the top until when you click inside the header or footer that is when you have the header and footer tab so finally this brings us to the third method of adding header and footer into the excel worksheet you go to the insert tab you click on it as it opens up you go to text click on this drop down you will see header and footer you click on it just as in the previous methods it will automatically add the header and footer you may add the page number add the file name 
and when I go to the footer, click at the middle section, then I add office key for career advancement. And so it will appear in all the filters depending on the number of pages. So we have come to the end of this short tutorial today. Hope you get some value from it. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon so YouTube will notify you once I drop a new video. And do share this video with family and friends. Have a wonderful day.